Let's look at the best way for supporting a beginner reader. Firstly, selecting a book. Now your school may have provided decodable readers. Have your child select a reader that they would like to read for that session. Maybe your school has provided you with an online library subscription. Your teacher will have locked or unlocked books. Choose from the unlocked books. Before beginning the read, it's time to do a sound warm up. You can use the online library videos. Watch the mouth and practice saying the sounds out loud. Ah. Ah. Mmm. or the hear the sounds to practice those sound warm-ups. Or you can download our sounds of reading chart from our website. Make sure that you practice the sounds of the level that your child is working on. You may even like to go back and consolidate their understanding of the previous sounds. Next is the word warm up. Depending on what books or series of books that your child is reading of Decodable Readers Australia, there will be some word warm ups. Now you can see here in our early readers, there are some words that will appear in our book and some sight words too. In our main series, we have the sight words that will appear in our books as well. Encourage tracking using the finger. It's really important that students keep track and blend as they read. The finger will help do this. All right, use your pointer. Can Nat go and if your child gets stuck on a word or comes to a word that they're unsure of, encourage them to sound it out. For example, we have the word here, dish. The word dish has three sounds, d, i, sh. We encourage them to say the sounds, then blend those sounds together, dish. It's extremely important that we do not use letter names during this reading time because we need to decode the sounds that those letters are representing. You might like to download this free poster from our website. This reminds both parents and their children that there is a step to decoding. We don't want to encourage the child to look away from the words. So using picture clues or giving lots of hints about the context of the story really isn't the way to get your child to decode. We need to make sure the focus is on the words and this poster will help you remind your child the steps of decoding. It's important that if an error is made or some sounding out has to happen at word level that a child goes back and rereads the sentence. This will assist with fluency and understanding. Gus and Bip had a thin... Just go back to this word, sweetheart, and can you sound that out for, for Mummy? Uh, mm, fun. All right, and I say the sentence again for me, sweetie? Gus and Bip had a fun plan. At the end of decoding the story, it's time to check for understanding. We have pre-prepared questions that will help the parent or educator ask the student about what they have read. How did Dan and Nat get to the beach? They went in a jeep. They did go in a jeep, <laughs> well done. This will prompt a rich discussion about the book. Ensure that your child understands what they've read and maybe take it a little bit deeper and further by having a conversation, maybe about the characters, what they did, or the events that happened in the story. And of course, at the end of every read, celebrate the efforts of your child. If you wanna learn more about instructional approaches and decodable readers, I invite you to join our learning lounge jump onto our website www.decodablereadersaustralia.com.au 
and find the third tab along Learning Lounge.